Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the molecular dynamics of a water molecule using PW.X. So in Quantum Espresso, there are basically two options to do MD. One is to use PW.X, which uses the Newtonian equations. And the second choice is CP.X, which I will show you later. So um, actually the time step in PW.X and CP.X is actually different for PW.X one time step is in atomic unit, which is around 0.05 femtosecond. As I have shown in the last video, the vibrational modes for water molecule includes the stretching and bending modes. And the smallest time scale is around 10 femtosecond. So actually for the molecular dynamics simulation, you only need a one femtosecond step and 100 femtosecond simulation would be long enough because one femtosecond is short enough to resolve the stretching modes and 100 femtosecond is long enough to see several vibrational modes. Okay, but except for that, you also need to test for thermal equilibrium if you have a larger system, but for a one single molecule, it does not really matter what is the thermal equilibrium. Okay, and then in quantum espresso, because I mentioned before that the time step is not in femtosecond, you need to convert that to a atomic unit. So dt equals 20 atomic unit, that's around one femtosecond, and n step is the number of steps that you want to do, and we choose 100. So we cover one femtosecond step and 100 femtosecond simulation. And then we first have to relax the structure fully, and then we start from the relaxed structure, we set an initial temperature, and we use NVE ensemble, basically the canonical ensemble to keep the energy the same. And then we will see the stretching mode in real time. Okay, uh, I will first show you the input files, which I will also put it online later. You should already be quite familiar with the relaxation of a water molecule, everything is the same except that I move the water molecule in the center of the um, box. Yeah? I add it 5, 5, 5, so move it more or less to the center, which makes the um, visualization easier. And then the second step is to do molecular dynamics. What we uh, have changed is the calculation type, and then um, dt equals 20, n step equals 100, and we use the potential and WFC extrapolation to make it faster. And then at the ionic temperature we set to initial, which means that we only initialize the temperature at the first step and then we never change or never scale the velocity afterwards, which will give you a correct dynamics. And then we set the temperature to 300 Kelvin, which is room temperature. And here we actually have to paste the relaxed structure here, yeah, which I will do later. So let's open the terminal and then go to the calculation. And then we first do the relaxation calculation. And this time I don't let it go to the background because I want to know when it is finished. It should be fairly quick. Okay, so now it's finished. We need to copy and paste the relaxed structure here to the second step. Okay. Okay, so now we are finished. And then we can start the um, MPI run for the second step. We use pw.x. And for this time, we'll let it run in the background by adding an AND sign in the end. And we can monitor the progress by using tail minus F. Out. Okay, and then we just wait. Okay, now the job is done. We can actually check the temperature in the calculation. So we grab all of the lines containing temperature in the output file. And then you see that the temperature is set first at 300 Kelvin, but then oscillates around it. 
this makes sense because this is a small system with only one molecule, so the temperature oscillation would be very large. Yeah? And then we want to visualize the vibration. We can use x Kristen as we used before. We can just run x Kristen programs x Kristen. That's the place where I placed x Kristen here. And then go to File, Output File, and choose this one. Do not reduce an S animation, and you see that there are actually 100 steps. And we can zoom in. So this is the nice thing about putting a molecule inside the center of the box, so that it does not really draw to the edge, where you must include the periodic boundary condition to plot it correctly. Yeah? So we actually choose the an angle and zoom in, and we play the animation. And you do see that there is a vibration, and it's also rotating as well. Maybe I change the angle to here to make it more clear. And then we can actually see how many stretching periods does the water molecule experience in this 100 steps. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's around 10 periods. And you see that now it's 100 step and one step is around 1 femto second. So 10 periods, it means that around 10 femto second per vibration. And this is indeed what we calculated last time and also in the literature that uh, one vibration is around 10 femto second. So we know that the vibration of water molecule is on the time scale of femto seconds. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to do molecular dynamics using pw.x and later I will show you how to use cp.x and for cp.x you have more freedom actually. You can choose NVT ensemble like the Nose hover thermostat there. If you learned something from my video, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time.